Hey guys, so last time I did a clean with me video, I just focused on the front half of the house, the kitchen and living room and bathrooms and laundry and stuff. So today I wanted to show you guys the girls room and our room, super, super messy. <laughs> it's gotten a little out of hand. And we also did the laundry room. It has been, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, it's been a nightmare for a long time. I mean, who lives like that? It's been rough. Um, and then we also did the car. So I don't know about you guys, but whenever I am cleaning, I pretty much have adapted this style of throwing everything on the floor in one pile and then kind of going from there basically and just putting everything from that pile either in the trash or wherever it's supposed to be and that is just how I do it. Um, I want to apologize about some of the filming angles. We live in a really small apartment if you didn't know and so it's hard to get the perfect shot, the perfect angle um, without the camera and the tripod being just absolutely in my way. So sorry about that and these rooms, it's kind of hard to film. Also, the girls clean their own room uh, pretty much every day. I'll have them go in and clean up, but then every once in a while, either with them or on my own, I go in and just kind of reorganize things. I didn't reorganize as in depthly today. I just kind of did a really quick once over, but I will actually dump out like all of their drawers and inside this little toy box here by their bed. I will take everything out and literally clear everything out, make sure there's no trash or hair ties or anything. And then we'll go through and put things back in their actual spot. And then as far as their beds, I really don't have them make their beds. They just have their sheet and a blanket. And so most of the time it kind of ends up disheveled anyways. Um, so I just went and straightened them out and then vacuumed up the floor. And that was pretty much it. It was pretty simple in their room today. Okay, and now on to our room, which is almost always one of the biggest disaster areas in the house. It is a pretty small master and we've got a lot going on in there. We need the desk for us to be able to work at or study at and we have a really small closet and so clothes always end up everywhere. Uh, but we are actually in the process of trying to get a new bed. You can kind of see we store things under our bed actually just to kind of utilize more space since we have, you know, a decent amount of stuff. Um, so we're actually in the process of trying to get a new bed and just a better system so that our room is more organized. I actually don't show every single crack and corner of the room just because there are some areas of the room that just no matter what right now they're just kind of trashed because we don't have nightstands right now at the moment so we're in the process of trying to find something and something that we like and that has under the bed storage for us to be able to store things like we need to
I can't even begin to tell you guys how lately it has made me feel so good to have a room or a house that is clutter free that the floors have no clutter on them I just I think I've been so stressed lately that having things clean just really really makes me feel so much better and it just looks good and it feels nice to be in a nice space Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a quick shot of the laundry room. I didn't film the process because I felt there wouldn't be enough space or enough room, but I am so excited for this area. I have plans for that area that I'm going to let you guys in on very shortly, but I'm super excited for this room and it looks so much better now. Okay, and then the last thing we did for the day, which we got a really late start on, and so I didn't get a before shot, is the car. Every six months, I have a professional detail done on the car, and then a protective coating put on it. So every three months, we take it upon ourselves to do our own little wash routine on the inside and outside of the car. And we were in such a hurry because we were afraid of running out of sunlight, which we did. And so then we ended up finishing up in the dark. So it was just kind of a crazy, crazy day. And we just, the time got away from us, the day got away from us. But yeah, we, it, it was good to get it done nonetheless. And it looks so much better. So this was the moment that Alan decided to tell me that I was supposed to vacuum before I started doing the interior. And so I quickly had to pause and go and get the vacuum and do the vacuum really quick and then finish the back. <laughs> and what I mean by we were hustling and bustling is I did not even take the mats out of the car this time and vacuum them separately. I literally just went in there and boom, boom, boom super quick lightning speed. I'm not a super stickler on the car being absolutely perfect just because I feel like it's so unrealistic to expect a family vehicle to stay looking 100% nice all the time. It's gonna be messed up looking by the next day, honestly. And so to me, I was just like, let's hurry up, let's get it done. We're running out of time anyways. And I just don't take it as seriously as Alan by any means. So I, my job was the inside and the tires. So here I am just finishing up the tires and Alan proceeded to do a wax and then wipe that down while I cleaned up all the buckets and everything. And then after about the millionth time of the camera falling over because I forgot my tripod, I just went ahead and turned it off. It was getting super dark anyways. And so then the next day, here we are. I wanted to kind of show you guys the finished look a little bit. It's so up close. It just looks like you're looking in a mirror, but I did notice some little smudges and little rain marks just because we were in such a hurry. But overall, it really does look nice. It looks nice and shiny and clean and the inside looks pretty good too. Like I said, not perfect. And there's even a mirror in the back seat that is not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be in the trunk, but the girls were messing with it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.